So I'll just uh, power up the ESP now and uh, make sure it's still doing what it should be doing, which is having the LED off, on and then off for a half a second, then back on again. Um, I will need to reprogram that at some point. Um, I'm just going to reconnect the relay back into the um, little fan header plug that I've got sitting there. So that will be the, the ground. I need two more wires, so that will be the live and then the last one will be the signal which actually switches the relay on and off. And that's that one. Obviously ignore the colour of the cables, it's all just to make it work for now. So we'll plug the Arduino back in there and uh, actually see what happens. It should switch the relay on and off. Now the relay's come on, so when the LED goes out, it should switch the relay off, but it hasn't actually switched the LED off at all. So let's try that again, maybe it hasn't booted properly. No, that hasn't helped. Now, it looks like there might be another problem. So I'll have a little play around with it and see what's going on. So I've actually unsoldered the uh, data wire from uh, GPIO, GPIO 15 because um, I believe that's why the, the Arduino isn't booting up. Actually, I need to get that in in the right way around. There we go. Um, so let's see if it does actually still boot up with the rest of the circuit still connected because uh, there should be nothing different now. It should just switch off the LED half a second then switch it back on again yeah so it is actually definitely working still um, so it doesn't like me using GPIO 15 uh, through that circuit although it was before so I'm gonna have a little play with this and see what's going on So what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use um, a different GPIO port which is actually going to be GPIO 16 um, which will be a bit shoddy but I'm going to solder it in underneath instead of on top but at least it's going to work so it should be the fourth one down from the top. So it should be the in yeah, it's actually that one that I've actually used before. So we'll use that one. Um and I'll change my code to use that one instead because I believe GPIO fifteen on this little Arduino doesn't does it doesn't like sometimes being used for something else. It's even though this little this little board's quite good, it's quite small, but I've found that some of the pins you can't use them for just about anything. Um so sometimes it's better to get a bigger a big board so so let's see if that's actually going to go off yeah so it's still working even with that now connected to that pin so I'll reprogram that and uh, see if that can actually control it using that pin instead instead of GPIO 15 so I'll get that plugged into my programmer and uh, reprogram it to use that instead Okay, that's it reprogrammed to use GPIO 16 instead of 15, which is on the other side of the board, which is where I've connected that yellow wire to, um, as you can see. So we'll get it connected back up to the relay and uh, see if it works now. It should do, because at least it does actually boot with it connected to there. I just had to change the code, so I'm just going to make sure I get the right wires. So that should be the... VCC, that was the ground, and that's the signal to switch it on and off. 
that looks all good so hopefully now it should switch on and switch off all by itself the LED won't still work on the board because I've actually changed the GPIO port but yep that is actually clicking on and off once every second or so which is what I changed the code to um, and there we go